All right, so here I've got a bunch of radical expressions. Those are expressions which involve radicals in some way, and radicals are these things, uh, which means uh, this is being square rooted, uh, or you know, you could have a, a radical for a cube root. There'd be a little three up here to show that this is the cube root of something. Um, and when you add radical expressions like this, they need to have the same radicand, and the radicand is the thing under the radical. So here I've got two radical expressions with unlike radicands. You know, the radicand of, of this one is 3, this one is 27. But not to worry, oftentimes we can play around with the radicands and make them into the same. Kind of similar to when you're adding or subtracting fractions with unlike denominators you can um, you can change things following the rules of math in order to create a situation where you do have um, common denominators right now with radicands you can't always I mean it's not sometimes you can't do that but oftentimes you can so I'll show you so the basic idea is is this I'll just do this over the side so Square root of 8. The square root of 8, we could rewrite as the square root of 4. Well, first we could, alright. First we could rewrite it as the square root of, so what's 8? Eight? 8 is 2 times 4. And that is equivalent to saying the square root of 2 times the square root of 4 separately like that. These are all, these are all valid, right? Well, the square root of 4 is just 2, right? Um, so all this can be rewritten as 2 uh, times the square root of 2. So the square root of 8 is equivalent to 2 times the square root of 2. So this is the kind of thing we'll do to convert um, radical expressions so that they have like radicands. So for example, um, I can't really do anything with the 3 no, there's I can't really break it's 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 a prime number. I can't really break it up into um factors that'll be useful like this. But what about this this twenty seven? Can it, can it, is there a way to write the the number twenty seven so that it's three times something? So that if I square root that something, all I'm left with is the uh the square root of three. So then I'll have like radicand. So well um nine times 3 is 27. So I could rewrite this as um, the square root of 9 times the square root of 3. Well, the square root of 9 is 3. So really, this radical expression can be written as 4 times 3 times the square root of 3. And 4 times 3 is 12. So really, it's 12 times the square root of 3. So now I'm adding 5 square root of 3 plus 12 square root of 3. Now we've got like radicands. So everybody's happy. Life can go on. So 5 plus 12 is 17. Uh, and then square root of 3. All right, let's try another one. Um, we've got 7 square root of 2 plus 3 square root of 18. Um, now, we can't really do anything with a 2, but is there a way to change this 18 around so that uh, this expression is something times the square root of 2? So we want to call this 18 2 times something. Well, 9 times 2 is 18. So this is really, we could re rewrite it as 3 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 times 3 times the square root of 2. So then we've got 3 times 3 is 9. So we can re rewrite this whole expression as 9 square root of 2. So we've got 7 square root of 2 plus 9 square root of 2 is equal to 16 square root of 2. Alright, what about 3 square root of 25 plus 4 square root of 9? Um, 4 square root of 81. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Um, well, you know, we could kind of see if there's 
split this up into factors like we're doing here. But, but wait a minute. The square root of 25 is just 5. Right? 5 times 5 is 25. So the square root of 25 is 5. And the square root of 81 is 9. This is 4 times 9. Alright, so don't lose sight of the fact that, you know, you know a lot of these square roots. If it's the square root of a perfect square, you know, just square root it. This is a lot easier than breaking it up into factors and rewriting, yada, yada, yada. So 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 9 is 36. Um, 15 plus 36 is 51. Right? 30 plus 10 is 40. 5 plus 6 is 11. Yeah, just double checking. Um, Alright, let's try one more. 8 square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 20. Um, these are not perfect squares, so I can't, you know, do this nice little trick. But maybe I can rewrite this so that it's uh, something times the square root of 5. Uh, well, 20 is 4 times 5. So I could rewrite this as 2 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. The square root of 4 is 2. This is 2 times 2 times the square root of 5. Uh, which is 4 times the square root of 5. So this whole thing would be 8 square root of 5 plus 4 square root of 5 equals 12. Square root of 5. There you go. Alright, have fun.